So we uh, were here at Pax Unplugged off in some secret location of a hotel in a room. We're playing Alpha Strike. We sure are. Um, and I'm going to be teaching Josh here how to play. And remind us who you are again. Uh, oh, yeah, I probably should do that. Huh? My name is uh, <laughs> Randall Bills. I'm the managing developer for Catalyst Game Labs. I've uh, been working on Battletech since <clears throat> far too long. I don't like to talk about it. Um, and yeah, still... You're, you're the perfect person to, uh, for me to play against today. <laughs> yeah, yes. Having never played alpha strike before nice nice this is gonna be a bloodbath <laughs> <laughs> so uh in my heart of hearts i still love battletech to death tons of people love battletech to death for sure uh, a lot of time sync goes into that you know as i usually like to compare it with somebody's asking me questions i've been doing that all weekend mm -hmm. uh you know a lance on lance so four on four mechs in in class of battletech is gonna right. take you two three hours for sure um and, you know whole evening effectively Whereas what you see here on the table, yep, uh, thirteen mechs. So yeah, all uh, these clan, guys here, star of five and a two lances of four. So eight versus five. Right. Um, we probably won't there. do it here, but if both sides know how the rules are played, you'll do it in sixty minutes or less. Right. So it's an incredibly faster play. Uh, it also allows you to zoom up. I always uh, oversize everything. Uh, Josh and I were just talking uh, last summer. We played. Uh, I did a Star Wars Armada campaign with some friends of mine. Mm -hmm. Played it for a good couple of months. It was super fun. Right. Uh, but for the final big battle, uh, we all had like 2,000 point uh, armies or something. On a insanity. very large table. On a super large table. Right. But it broke the game. Right. Like it's just, sure. it totally broke the game. So, but <clears throat> but I always like to upsize every everything I'm playing. And Alpha Strike actually allows you to upsize. You well, can you, easily you can, throw. Instead of alternating activations, you can you alternate do lances. Per right? lances, exactly, yeah. by formations. And so yeah. you just, you know, we've thrown 36 mechs on a side, two battalions on a side right. on a table. And that's a whole afternoon, right? Suppose about looks take, really impressive. It would take months. Oh, and it's wonderfully impressive. Now, to be clear, these gorgeous paint jobs. Yeah. Uh, they don't come in the box that way. <laughs> well, these are the uh, ones that are actually on the back cover of the yes, rule book. These yes, are the, is uh, is the originals. The, these are the originals. Actually, I believe these are prototypes. They're not even the plastics. Actually, these guys are almost the right color scheme. <laughs> even. They'd, look, they'd blend, blend right in. Blend in, get a little uh, cover modifier. That's right, yeah. Okay, so uh, the way the game plays is it's the standard initiative. You know, I just realized, do we have dice? Somewhere. Don't they come in the right, box? Uh, they do come in the box. Look, it's a like starter wow, box. Okay. Or, oh, hey, look, That's, dice. Uh, yeah, but it, it feels weird to not have dice on me. I just I must have yeah. absent-minded, leaving the convention, trying to come over here quick. Okay, that's right. Got dice. Okay. Well, and we're going to share them, which means any bad luck is not the dice fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, standard initi initiative. So, I've got an eight. Josh yeah. over here is going to roll. A uh, ten. Okay, he's got a ten, so I move first as normal. We're going to be alternating back and forth. Yeah, this is a game where initiative means you get to go second, so you can see more of what's going on. Exactly, right? right? Yep. Uh, you're able to delay and go, what is he doing? And then I respond mm -hmm. to that action. Now, we have um, equal, unequal forces, right? So uh, we, do gonna... have, we do have unequal forces, but your pilots, uh, well, one, your mechs are just better because they're clan mechs. Uh, sure. And then you have a skill of three as opposed to my skill of four. Okay, and those that two, makes a big difference. Those two factors equal it out. Now we're uh, mo going in the movement phase. I need to be moving first. Uh, every mech has a data card here. Uh, all the information on it you need is right there. Uh, for those that have played classic Battletech, you know, normally you're used to this eight and a half by 11 sheet and it's all been condensed down onto a card. Hence, obviously why it's so much quicker to play. And they're double-sided too. Uh, right? They're double-sided, so variants. yep, two variants, one variant on each side. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just going to pick one mech. Really doesn't matter. We're going to choose whichever one we want. Uh, we'll go with the Atlas. Okay. And it'll tell you the movement modifier straight on the card. We got six inches here. Okay. Uh, now there's no hex turning in uh, Alpha Strike. So I simply pick, move the mech in whichever direction I want. Mm -hmm. And then the orientation of the base only matters for uh, orientation of fire. Yeah, so, so you're gonna distance, you're gonna move them whatever distance, whatever distance I want, and then, and then when I and then when I place them, it's important. So we'll just right. uh, come right over here, stop, 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 and stop, and right there, and that's his orientation. And the orientation matters. Can you? Hopefully they can see that uh, because the draw line there across the back, anything behind that they can't see, anything in mm -hmm. front of it they can't see. But an atlas has rear guns, right? 
Um, does some of them have? do. I don't some know. of them do. I don't know this particular variant does not. But yeah, some of them have a special ability. Um, down on the bottom of the cards, you'll have all yeah. of these case, indirect fire two, and now so they're, on. They're on this little quick reference card. Uh, correct. I think they're? Yeah, they're yep. there. Yep. Okay. Uh, there, there are a couple of abilities that are on these cards that are not on this card. Uh, because, once again, this is the quick start version of the game. Sure. And so if it's on the card and not on here, you just kind of ignore it for now because it's a little more advanced. Right. Not and for your first time. Not maybe for your, your first time you're time. playing. Yeah, yeah. And then, okay. you know, when you run off and grab the Commander's Edition rulebook right. uh, that brings, it's just... Uh, this is a wonderful game. Crazy amount of content in the box. Yeah. You'll get so many games out of it out of the gate. But then you can buy the Commander's Edition rulebook. And that's another massive toolkit. Well, you just half of that book is like of. optional rules, right? Exactly. So it's just yeah. this huge toolkit that every group gets to decide which one are they going to grab and put on the table. Right. Okay. So because okay, so we have back un you. unequal uh, unequal force sizes, though. Yeah. So the way that works. One and yeah. One, so you're gonna, well, you alternate one and one until at the start of a pair of movement. Yeah. If one side doubles, then I start moving You up. do a double. Okay. And so it's going to get all the way down to about, uh, I'll have four mechs left to your two. Yeah. And then I will start moving two. Yep. Got it. Correct. Okay. Right on. So let's do, yeah. I'm thinking probably we're going to use, just strategically here, I'm thinking, let's just go kind of middle of the road first. Let's do this Nova, this, this Blackhawk okay. Nova mech here. Now you'll notice on the card, uh, it's the 10 inches with jump, there, right? it's 10 with jump, the J there, yeah. uh, which means obviously they can jump over any terrain that we want. Right. Um, so he can put himself up on one of the tall buildings. Um, now the the that sounds uh, dangerous. I'm just going to be shot by everything they can. <laughs> well, see sure, me absolutely. Anywhere. Now the buildings can be destroyed. We're not going to play that in this game, but absolutely in the box there's rules for go ahead now and measure, wipe it a measuring out. etiquette here, like front to front. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Let's do that. There you go. Perfect. There you are. Okay, back over to me. Get my warhammer trundling forward, uh, stomping forward. No trundling in BattleTech. Not well. Not in this set. There are wheeled That's, vehicles. Yes, there are wheeled vehicles. Okay, back at you. All right. Let's do... Hmm. Mm -hmm. i got to think for a moment about which of my guys are effective at long range and which of my guys are effective at short range, right? Yeah, the other thing with uh, the, the range, ranges it's is... Short, medium, long is always the same distances. Yeah, correct. It doesn't matter which yeah, unit does correct. what. Yeah, okay. Um, and that's another way to simplify it. Uh, in classic Battletech, part of the... The wonderful texture of the tactics is that every single weapon has a different range. Yep. Uh, in Alpha Strike, all ranges are the same, and then those the values of the weapons, the damage values, are combined into a single value that applies in each of the range. So if you don't have long range weapons, then you're going to look at the card under the long range bracket, and it won't have any value. Yeah, it'll be zero. Okay, so Archer. We're going to peek him around the corner here. He's going to move at eight, and you can totally bend it like a normal miniature game. Right. To get whichever maximum reach you want. So round over there. I got okay. you. Let's see. I'm thinking we probably want... Let's do... Yeah. I think we're going to park the... Uh... So in comes the most terrifying mech in the box. Yep. We'll Good old him, Timberwolf. Put him like that behind his friend. I mean, my Atlas is dangerous, but it's the Timberwolf. Come on. Everybody knows post, it. Post, poster boy. Well, That's right. I mean, really, he's got indirect fire, so. He's just terrifying. All the giant rocket pods. Okay. Let's get Blackjack moving. And the Blackjack's got an eight as well. Mm -hmm. He will come in. He's kind of a medium mech. And this is a game of true line of sight. So if you want to make sure that well, you're your gonna mech be shooting, is hidden, you're going to be shooting through this big old zone yeah, of trees there's, there's, there, right? There's that. Uh, but trees. unless it's seven inches, okay, yeah. which we specifically did not yeah. do it. So for cover, those that cover, can see the top down, this is a template, right? We're just drawing around the outside. So it's just going to add a plus one to it. Mm -hmm. If we'd actually made it bigger so that it was seven total inches across, or totally, if there was two totally batches blocking. of it, it would be totally blocked. Yeah, all right. And that way you get to decide if you want to have a game that's more of a hunt, hunt and seek, where you're having to dodge around all these woods, or like this one that we're doing, because you know we're playing it for you guys, you're just I, instantly this, into the action. This, this is going to be smashing toys together. Smashing toys together, Yeah, absolutely. All right. So don't you need to move a second mech now because of the unequal uh, forces thing? I got, you I got are those out, boys yes, left. thank you, absolutely. 
I just really want to know where they are before my really fast guys do stuff. <laughs> and you have the fastest uh, mech on the table as well. Yeah, this fire moth. Yeah, the fire moth is ridiculous. Uh, so Wraith, we're going to... Okay. So the mechs in the box, we have two uh, brand new mechs that aren't found in any of our other plastic force packs that we do the wraith and the that, pouncer that there, right that's yeah. the wraith the one that i just moved and then the pouncer over here right yeah okay uh we then have uh seven new variants and so you'll see some great variants of the these mechs you all love and then four of them are the same thing just slightly posed differently mm -hmm. okay well let's see am i right this says 12 and then 10 j that's either 12 land or 10 jumping correct awesome all right, so we could go this way. I think though, probably it's getting pretty pretty heavy down there. How fast are these boys? Uh, he's super fast. He's medium. Okay. So let's yeah, let's leave the super fast. Not guy for quite last. as you know, you're ridiculous fast, but sure, sure, sure. He's still fast. All right, but let's... they're total glass cannons. Yep. Get a little punch in, and yep, one good hit will put him down. I'm thinking this guy is probably. Probably just going to go to there. That's well with. It's not even his full movement. It could have been putting these guys now. There's out is there's doing, there's no real reminder. move modifier for using less than your full movement, right? Correct. Do you have to use the whole thing, or uh, no? you do not. Absolutely not. Uh, don't forget uh, that he jumped. So you want to right. jump on there. Uh, I've been moving ground on all my guys. Okay. Make sure we still have some. Okay. And then back over to here. I think we got off slightly, but that's okay. I'm not sure it's going to matter this turn. Nope, not in the slightest. Okay, so we got our wasp up here. going to hide him good. I'm right up next to this building, so no one can see him yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's important. And I think the same thing with the locust. I'm just going to tuck him around the corner here. He can't really do anything. Yep. And then a phoenix hawk is 12 and we're just gonna, gonna jump you absolutely can move through um mechs you just can't end your turn or you can't end your movement okay uh, on somebody else's mech sure all right so then it's gonna be my my uh fire moth back there correct i guess we could get it we, we sure could again. well so here's the thing this movement rating is 30 yep this mat is only about 36 inches yep. long. He, he moves way quicker than most plane areas. Yeah, that's... Okay, well, you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's uh, let's just run past everyone and stand behind the archer here. <laughs> that's <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah, this, where's that locust? Soul. I can't quite... He's right there. Okay, actually, I think I want to be... I was here. Can I get behind him too? I can. Let's go a little further back. Stop, 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 stop. This is really quick, right? Yep. All right. Absolutely. And he, ground movement there. Everybody's got their ground movement. So I think he was the only one that jumped. He is, yes. Okay, so we're into combat. Uh, right. Simultaneous combat. Uh, not instantaneous, which means you blow one of my mechs up in a turn. I'm still going to be able to fire that mech yeah, so on we, that turn. Uh, so we declare attacks back and forth, and then all the damage comes off at the end. Who shoots first, though? Uh, ultimately, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, normally, you just go, hey, you do it first. I do it first. Sure, whatever's convenient. Um, yeah, and again, we're not going to declare fire just because we're having a friendly game. We're just kind of showing you the game. But yeah, you specifically do that so that you don't go, hey, all four of these guys are going to fire over here. And then he dies on the first one, and then you're trying to shift your mm -hmm. fire sure. over to something else. That but, makes sense. Uh, a little we'll, risk reward. We'll, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be good about that. Okay, so then when you're d doing attack, so we'll go ahead and start out here. Actually, we'll go ahead and let you uh, start out with the fire moth. The exciting part, yeah. Okay, right. yeah, the, <laughs> the exciting part. Uh, okay, so we have a little a mnemonic uh, we call Sator, which is, I don't know if we can kind of see it there. S-A-T-O-R. Uh, S-A-T-O-R. So it's skill, attack right. movement, target movement, other modifiers, range. Okay. And other is like terrain and stuff? Uh, other is terrain, exactly. So yeah. you literally just start at the top, and if you get that in your head, you literally by the end of one game, you'll be able to just run this yep. lineup quick, okay? So you start with your skill. We talked about the clans. They've the got three. three yep. Okay. 
Uh, and so then he did ground movement, which yep. is a plus zero. That's what it has on the token. So there's mm -hmm. nothing for that. Okay. Yep. And then target movement modifier. This is actually one of the big differences in Alpha Strike from Classic. Mm -hmm. And one of the few things that if you're a long time Classic player, might take a game or two to kind of click in your head. Right. In that in Battletech, it's all about how many hexes did you move? And right. then you do this chart and do, yeah, okay, I went three hexes, it's plus one, four hexes, it's only. Sure, representing your total speed, speed, right? Exactly, and yeah. so in this, to simplify, it's always on. It's considered an aggregate of what you would move mm. while you know out in the train. And so it's not a sure. maximum, it's not a minimum, it's the average. Because we've sort right? of abstracted the path that they've it, run to get there anyway. It, exactly, yeah. exactly. So the TMM, target movement modifier, is always on. And so then you would ask me, hey, what, well, actually, which one are you going to be yeah, firing let's, at? The let's... Uh, Locust or the Archer? Uh, I think I probably could, want to you, shoot you the Archer. You might be able to kill. You might, you, well, if you hit. I won't kill hit, the Archer. You won't kill the Archer. If you hit the Locust, you're going to kill it. Let's kill the Locust. Okay. So, and watch me lie if we go back and look at it. But I'm pretty sure you're going to kill the Locust. <laughs> no, okay. it's all good. I want to kill the little thing. Okay, so then the Locust has a TMM of three. Okay, mm -hmm. so we started with three. We're up to six. Okay. You're yep. then looking at other, which is the train. There's nothing there. Nothing between us. And then finally is range. Remember we talked about those range brackets are yep. fixed. Short, so medium, right and long. Here, it's six inches, six to 24 inches, 24 to 42 inches. It's very long range. Well, and long again, range is the whole map. So. The long range is off the map. In, in fact, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's more designed to pull into play one. You, we want you immediately in the action and firing. Yep. Uh, often if I'm on a size like this with battle max, depending on what I have, I might be three turns in before you're firing weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want you in there immediately. It also means you can scale up really big. Yeah. And then have, and have lots of models. Lots of models that can still hit at that long, yep. good long range. Anyway, okay? I think we're well within short range. Uh, well here. within short range. So with all of that in mind, then you only need the six to hit. Right. All right. Two dice. <laughs> of course. Right out of the gate, he's showing what he's going to do to me. Okay. Uh, well, okay, listen, so, listen, I break <laughs> games with extreme outlier <laughs> luck. Okay, so remember we talked about how we have fixed range brackets, and then you're yep. going to have damage, fixed damage values within those range brackets, right. okay? So at short range, and So at short range, there's a four, four? okay? Yep. You're also coming in, uh, if you draw a straight line between the two, mm -hmm. uh, you're coming just in along that back hex, which is going to give you an additional plus one damage. Not okay. that you need it, because that's <laughs> going to be five to my locust. Now, the way this would work is normally I would grab my dry erase marker. Yep. And I'm going to mark off the armor. And then as soon as the armor is done, I'm going to head into the structure. Okay. Right. If you had done only three points of damage, I'd hit the armor. I'd then hit the structure. And then I would immediately roll on the possible critical hit. Yep. But in this instance, you just wiped, literally cut that locust like right bug. in half. Like a bug. In fact, part of the energy kept going on because there was so much of it left. <laughs> yep, just chewed through them. All these, okay. uh, what are these laser so cannons just on the top of my, my yeah. back here? Yep. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I you're back behind me. I had also parked myself where no one else can see him. There is nothing he can do, so I can Might actually well go ahead and move off. him right off. Okay. Uh, so why don't you see if some yep. of these other guys have... So I'm thinking probably... I'm, I will declare the shots here. So we're going to do this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure he cannot see because... Uh, yeah, and this is considered two levels tall. Right, so he's opposed to the one, yeah. so he's blocked. Yep, okay. I think yeah, because normally it's... this shot, though. Yeah, instead of being completely blocking, because you want to deal with the fact that some mechs have, you know, awesome action poses, it's really about if less than a third of the mech can be seen, then it's blocked. So I'm thinking it's here to here, okay, here to here, and then these two guys can only see Atlas. Coming on the Atlas and he'll action. probably have to do indirect, right? Because he's got the building between. Uh, no, because this is considered a level one. This is just a little bit taller. Oh, okay. So there's just partial cover. All right. Good to know. So yeah, let's let's start over here and work our way across. Okay, so go ahead and do... Yeah, so Pouncer... Figure, figure the range out from him. Yeah, uh, it's more than six, less than 24. Like, okay. it's definitely yep. medium range. Okay. It's be plus two. So he is skill three. So you're starting with that satyr again, so yep. the three, and then mm -hmm. you did not do anything special, so right. it's zero. Still a zero. So three still. Uh, my TMM is, if I can find my card here, uh, is three. Okay, so six. Six. And plus two for my medium range bonus. Yep. Or penalty. Yep. Uh, is eight. Correct. And um, no and cover, because they've got 
yeah, I can see the almost the entire mech. So, so you're good to go. Okay, so okay. then last thing we're going to look at really quick. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it. We'll come back around to it. This OV0 is mm -hmm. overheat, which yeah. means you can't actually overheat. Once we get to a mech that can, we'll go ahead and explain how that works. Right, yeah, because it represents um, being able to fully fire everything. All or, the weaponry, right. and then you're going to be holding so on eight. to extra heat. So eight. Uh, there it is, just exactly eight. Okay, so how much damage you do? Uh, pouncer at range medium is three damage. Okay, so one, two, three. So literally just like that, marking off three armor pips. Yep. And he's good to go. Okay, so then he's done. And often what I do when I'm playing is I'll remove these ground movement markers as I'm firing, particularly when you have a lot of units out there. Yep. Really easy way to track what's fired and what hasn't. And so the ground movement is only for the attacker. Correct. You don't necessarily need them for the defender. Nope. Okay, cool. All right, so then, yeah, let's do the, what is this? A Masakaria, it's a Warhammer. Okay. Into this guy here. So we've got definitely medium range as well. He's gonna be, yeah, skill three. I think and I've it, got like it, a sliver it, it, here. It, it doesn't because the way we normally do is you do it along the base. Okay. Because that way it's a little more, because once again, the tree is gonna or be all strange shapes. shaped. Yep, okay. Um, and it cuts just outside, so you got it just fine. Okay. So yeah, then there's no uh, terrain in there. So we've got is skill, no partial, no because bonus. You're less than a third is behind partial. So sure. Nothing there. What's his uh, move modifier? Uh, his movement modifier is uh, two. Okay. So we're looking at three for my skill, nothing for move modifier. Two for him is five, and it's medium range, so seven. Yep. Blast him. Miss. Excellent. That's a big scary thing. That's that a five is a damage big shot. scary thing. Yeah, he is what, a little horrifying. What does he got? Actually, for like health, no, uh, not he's, a lot, he's, right? Uh, oh, he's seven, decent, seven total. Okay. Yeah, but this is a great again for the the classic BattleTech players in the room. Mm -hmm. You can tell that normally. In fact, flip it over here. No, same thing. Um, the reason why the armor is so much more than the internal structure is this represents the XL engine. And the XL okay. engines give you a lot more punch, but they really are big Achilles heels. Once you get inside, you can fall a lot quicker. Right, okay. So Well so, armored, but fragile in Yeah, so even though it's condensed way down, the system still manages to retain just you enough of feeling. a flavor of right. the various mechs. Okay, okay, so now we got your last two coming in on my Atlas. Uh, yep. So let's do, let's do the little guy first, the okay. Pouncer. Or sorry, this is the Nova. This is the Nova T. So he's got... This might actually be long range. Let's check. Uh, yes. There's quite a bit of tree here as well. Yeah. It is long range. Uh, it is medium range. Okay. But I think. So I think we looking, got about six inches of tree, five inches of tree between. Yeah. Us, so so it's, it's just going to be the plus one. It doesn't matter. It's only once you get up to seven and above that it blocks. Okay. Yep. And then looking at it, it is more than a third of the mechs involved. Looking at them together, mm -hmm. that is behind this partial cover. So that's going to add a plus one. Right. So we're up to plus two. Skill of three is five. Nothing. For, oh, he's jumping, actually. So, so another, plus, another one. plus one. So six. One for my TMM. <clears throat> yep. And then do we already add the woods in? Yep. Okay. Two, one for each of those. And then, yeah, so seven again. Okay. And this is a this is a beastly attack. This guy does six. Yeah. He looks very heavily armed. So, oh, no, can't shoot. Too busy Excellent. flying. Yep. Okay. And Timberwolf. Last but not least. Okay, so... Don't, do we care about indirect fire? Is that going to apply here? I see he's got uh, uh, IF3 no. on his special. Yeah, that only applies if you don't have direct line of sight. Okay. So if you're completely blocked, and I can then see you're able building, to use right? it. That's yeah, why. you can yeah. see over it and you're fine. Okay. So then bringing this up for the for everyone here. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about So you'll about notice the special. overheat, right? Yeah. So this is a two. So what's mm -hmm. going to end up happening is that you can decide, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and overheat one point or two Before points. I roll. Before you roll. Yep. How okay. many guns I'm going to shoot. Exactly. And yep. that will add that amount of additional damage that you apply. Mm -hmm. So if we're at medium range, which we are, yep. and if you hit and you decided to overheat by one, then it would be seven plus the one for a total of eight. Mm -hmm. What that then does is it is minus one to your damage on the following turn, as well as minus one inch of movement. To okay. represent all the extra heat that is slowing your mech down. Sure. And then you have to not act, you have to not fire to then start getting that sure. heat down. And I've got a little scale here that can hold, what, three? And then I have Correct. to shut down? Correct, and then down? you shut down. 
So you can actually do it four times, but on the fourth the time, the fourth one, everything down. just power yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then you get this nice uh, immobile marker, which is a minus four, mm. which almost guarantees you're going to die real fast. <laughs> yep, movement so is movement is life. So try not me. to do that. Yes, movement is life. Absolutely. Okay, okay so you're going to overheat or just nope, go for the standard shot? I don't think shot? so. Okay. Roughly, how many uh, armor and structure does an Atlas? Have? Atlas is massive beyond belief. Yeah, like 12 he, he armor and 8 has structure? The, yeah, he almost has the max amount you can have. <laughs> All right. I'm not confident that this is a great situation to be shooting at him because cover and medium range and all that. So okay. we're going to hold back a little for now. Okay. I would so rather no. I would rather crush things that are going to hit. Okay. Fire everything at a chance here. Okay. So, but no overheat. So we'll do skill three. Yep. Uh, probably same story as before it's with cover, right? It's the same right? story, yeah. So, so one for here, one for that, one for your move modifier, so six. Yep. And medium range, eight. Plow. There we go. Oh, man. Got him. So seven. Seven from Timberwolf here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Luckily, he needed that. Uh, that seven from your Timberwolf. About a third of the mechs I have are just insta kill. That's just so much, <laughs> so much fire. Well, we got to start on him because I know yeah, he's also oh, pretty yeah, scary. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. It's not, so I'm then, done shooting. Uh, now. Yeah. Okay. So now coming back to me, so I couldn't do anything with him. I pulled him off. Mm -hmm. uh, the only one that Wraith can see is over here to the pouncer. We already figured out that that is uh, medium. medium range. Yep. And they can see each other totally. There's no. They cover can there. see each other totally. So start out with my skill of four. Uh, your or my movement doesn't add anything. Your target movement modifier. The pouncer is two. Two, so that is up to six. Yep. Range puts it up to eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we roll them dice for an eight, which Ouch. I got. And that wraith then hits you for three points of damage. Well, I've got four armor and two structure, so. Okay, mm -hmm. so now the archer. Okay, this one, very confident. Still in medium range, okay. Yep. Um, so then we run down the same thing. Starts out, this will be across the partial cover. Yep, the building. Yep. Uh, so it is four. Um, no, nothing for me. Five, six for your TMM. Mm -hmm. uh, and then seven, eight for range and nine for the partial cover. Ooh. But he, he's got, he's packing like loads of missiles and stuff, right? Like he probably hits pretty hard. Uh, uh, not bad. Not too bad. He's really, his strength is being able to shoot at long range. Correct. Yeah. It's got three across all ranges. No, nope. that's not a so nine. That is a total miss. Okay, I think we shifted this tree. Um, the wasp. Can he do anything? Nope. He only has short range. I think so he's he, about halfway behind that building. Too. Well, e even if you're right, but even then, he's only got short range weaponry, oh. so not a lot I can do about <laughs> nope. it. Uh, everything else that I have that can is going to go after the warhawk over here. Sounds right. Okay. So starting with the atlas. Uh, again, these are all going to be... This, this is media. starting to sound there's... suspicious you like the fiction in this <laughs> box set, right? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all within uh, medium range. Um, again, starting out with four, so we're just going to kind of march around the corner here. So yep. starting with the Atlas, four, um, and you're one, one on your TMM. So yep. four, uh, five for movement, five, six for terrain, six, seven, eight for range. Yep. And I believe marching around the corner, these are all going to be... Eights will be yep. the exact same number. Sounds right. Because they're all targeting. So starting with the Atlas. I think there's the no eight. cover on this one. That's the last one. Because we, we I already shot you with no cover. Oh, that's right. You're absolutely right. Okay. So it'll be so seven we'll just, for that. Yep. So eight we'll start rest. around. So yep. eight for the Atlas. Okay, missed. Eight <sighs> for the Blackjack. Now this nope. is starting to film like my dice rolls. Eight for the Warhammer. Oh, man. Get him out of the way seven, while it's yeah, all right. <laughs> seven. For, no, total whiff. Okay. My family would be laughing at me. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. So then that's the turn. We now clear these out. Yep. All our tokens off the board. So many. So many. There we go. And then we back into initiative. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine. Also nine. I'll so roll again. Roll it again. Five. Five and six. All right. You have it this time. Yep. So then you're moving first. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to save that fire moth to later because um, he has all of one armor, one structure. If you sneeze on him, he he's gone. A, he is a glass cannon, but man, that four punch for yeah. that little mech is dangerous. Yeah, it sure is. I think we're going to move that pouncer. He's got <clears throat> 10 jumping or 12 move. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And how fast are your guys here, roughly? 
Um, Pretty fast, right? Yeah, he is uh, 12, 12 with the jump. Yep. Warhammer is nice and slow. Uh, eight inches. Okay. Blackjack is eight inches with a jump. Atlas is six inches. All right. So I think Pouncer is going to... Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. This is going to be bloody either way. It's going to be real messy. Ten jump. It's really if I just want that extra accuracy. Yep. That's the only reason I would walk instead of jumping, right? Yep. Makes sense to me. I know it makes it harder to hit you, but, you know. The jump does. Yeah. It's in both directions. It's harder for you by one, harder for me by one. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just... Why am I flexing the corner here? Let's just hop this building. Okay. Right in the middle. Nice. Let's get into it. Yep. Throw please, please flank him. Jump, <laughs> uh, throw a jump token on. Perfect. All okay. Right. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're here to just bash toys together. Uh, so the Atlas is going to trundle on. Okay, so I'm about ready to move into Woods. Mm -hmm. And Woods, for every inch, is an additional inch that you're paying. Right. Um, so he is going to be extra, extra slow. So it's literally three inches to get there. Yep. Um, and so then for the next inch, that double. is double. And then I don't have that extra inch left over. So that's as far as he's going to go. Just starts but into that the way, woods. even if you try to sprint around him, at least he's always going to get that Woods. Yep. Okay, back to Makes you. Sense. Hide him. Hide him away. Yep. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting question. I think we would really like for the Warhawk to start covering our backs. Because being shot at by everything last <laughs> turn was just a little scary. Yeah, except, you know, I missed everything. Sure, but I don't have that much hull for what is like my most expensive unit. So that front part isn't showing. Okay, yeah. just making okay. sure the camera isn't. Yeah, I was going to call that out. Just waiting for a natural pause here. As opposed to, eh, eh. Yeah. That's much more natural. <laughs> All right, there nah, we go. There we go. All right, so... Uh, I'm thinking probably we want to back him off a little bit, just because like facing your entire lance or both lances by himself is a bit scary. Uh, on the other hand, maybe I'll just protect this flank with him. Let's go this way. How bad could it be, right? So bad. <laughs> you gonna put the wraith behind him? Bring it. Do it. Uh, as a matter of fact, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, and he can easily get there with his 14 jump. Yep. Come flying back there. So you get a jump. I get a jump. But oh, you get the ground. I do. Get that out there. Okay. Uh, I believe I am moving two now. I have three units and you have six left to move. So yep. yes. And my wasp is 12 inches. He is just, well, the real fun thing. Oh, two guys behind him, maybe. Um, he runs, though, not jumps, right? Yeah. Squeeze him in there. I think I can. All right. Okay, I'm going to be able to get him back there. Sorry. Oop. Good enough. Uh, and ground and for him. Ground. Yep. Okay. And move your second. No, that wasn't. Oh, sorry. Second. Remember, I did right. the two. Yep. Got it. Okay. So let's do. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Absolutely. With jumps? Yeah. Now, the, the trees you can't because you got to be able to, to, you know, move your hand, but absolutely you can go on the buildings. Now, there, you it all depends on how advanced you want to make it. Normally, when I'm doing buildings, I make them um, hardened, so any mech can go on top of it, and then you really got to pound it down. Uh, but there's actually different levels, so it could be literally, you know, one, two, three, four. And so ones, only light mechs can go on it, so if a heavy right. mech gets on top of it, the then that would, support them. <laughs> won't support it, no crush. But it could also be that I land a uh, medium mech on a type two building and it's just fine. Then I fire and hit the building and that causes it to collapse. So there's a lot of more in depth tactics you can do. Mm -hmm. right. Usually he's in something jumping. like this, it's just now they're indestructible. You're, you yeah. can jump on top. All of right, so he's jumping over fire. here. Okay. Oh, nice. There was nothing I can do to, was a to trap. him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a trap. That's right. Um, I am gonna... I mean, I'll pay for it, 
but I hope these guys don't hurt, uh, hit too hard. Yeah, interestingly enough, I can see you straight through there. It's only the woods, so yeah, I'm actually going to stand still. Ooh, which juicy. means it's uh. What that does, that gives me a minus one to hit, but then it takes my TMM down to zero. Right. Yep. Get that uh, nice lined oh, up shot. I got to do two. Right. Mm -hmm. And then already. Oh, you know what? That's what's throwing me. Forgot to mark him. Uh, yeah. There we go. Mark him. So we got Archer and Archer, and then the two little guys, right? Uh, well, no, because one of them is dead. So I'm oh yeah, that's remember. right. I, he was always behind the building, yep. so I could never <laughs> see never him. See him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, again, we're here to mix it up. So that is a jump. And when you're jumping, you ignore all terrain and come flying down in the yeah, midst of it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just land in the middle. Yep. All right. Okay. And then it's going to be over to you for that. And then I'll move my last two. Okay. Uh, and you said he's pretty fast and jumps. He's pretty fast and jumps. That's cool. I'm thinking <laughs> probably Timberwolf here is move 10. Let's just, uh, let's just get him in there. Let's try and take advantage of this standing still Warhammer. I think. Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. I could also just back it up and start shooting missiles. That might be better. Rather lots, than... Lot, lots of good options. Yeah, lots of good whatever, options. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. I'm thinking... Yeah, you know what? He's got plenty of health. Let's Let's just test him. He does have a lot of health. So let's go, I don't know, there, sure. We often joke that it's been, you know, make us all feel old. It's been 30 plus years since the Timberwolf was first introduced. And it's still the best mech in the entire game. Yeah, there you go. Never been one that's better. Okay, so then I, in fact, don't even have to measure that. Yep. I can't Boop. possibly give that up. In fact, I'm ground because I can just run around that. Get in there. And then the arch. Oh, you know what? We forgot about him. We did. Would you like me to move him now? Yep. I'll just go ahead and... Well, that's one move. It's fine. As long as I'm moving one last, I'm good. <laughs> the nice thing about him is literally, you know... Just put, you him, don't put him to, down. Just put him down. You measure him. Uh, I will... Hmm. Do I want to... That could be fun. Yeah, I think I will. Move him up here. Right. So the Warhawk can't see him but I can see your pounce are nice and good. Hey, there you go. Okay. So now we're getting into it again? Yeah. Um, I'm kind of realizing now I probably shouldn't have charged the whole 10. I should probably be behind this building. <laughs> Let's find out how that goes for we me. We will find out, okay? If um, your dice were like they were last turn, I'll be oh, just then fine. Then you'll be just fine. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. <laughs> okay, so then I am going... Yeah, I'm not taking a chance because my dice were so bad. All four of these guys are going to try to kill the Pouncer. Sounds right. Uh, Phoenix Hawk in the back of the Timberwolf. And then and the Yeah, we knew the what they were doing. In the back of the Warhawk. Yep. Okay, so then let's go ahead and get this single one down. Um, so uh, four. Uh, didn't do anything extra. Mm -hmm. uh, plus two, I believe, for your Timberwolf. Yep. Okay, so four, six. Rear? Rear uh, doesn't add anything. Remember oh, that only adds damage. damage. Right. right, okay. So then a six. Oh, there it is. Man, denied. There, there, painful. There it is. Okay, so how much how much pain was I looking at there? Um Phoenix Hawk oh, does three. three, four. So not a ton, but I would have taken third, it. a third of them. Now here's actually a, a moment we can pause and talk about this. Okay, so you've got five points of damage here in the Warhawk. Mm -hmm. And then on the Timberwolf, you've got this massive seven. Okay. Yep. Um Hitting or missing with this is totally all or nothing. Yeah. And that can be a little frustrating for some players. Right. Okay. There is another option, which is that uh, you roll a two hit dice for every point of damage. Oh, so I make like okay. seven small so attacks. So you would make seven small attacks. Yeah, and that yeah, way it's yeah. not quite so all or nothing. Right. There's plenty of people that like that. But there's also plenty of people don't because then I just had to roll seven, seven pairs times. of dice every single time. Yep. So it's really all going to depend on what you enjoy, what you like doing. Mm -hmm. I personally, uh, my problem is I like that idea, but I like Alpha Strike at big scale. Yeah, and you and can't possibly do all low. that extra rolling at the big scale. So right. luckily it's very flexible in that and a great option to roll. Cool. Okay, so we got that. Well, out we're of playing the, the all or nothing. We're doing the all or nothing for this. Nice and easy. I got that pathetic thing out of the way. Yep. Um, and then this Warhammer's is... Warhammer's going to lay into me. This is all... 
Oh no, he is within short range. Everything else is into medium range. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the Warhammer skill of four. Yep. Um, one for the tree. One for the tree. Your TMM is two. Uh, yeah, TMM is two and he's jumping. Yep, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the range, yep. but down to nine because I stood still. Right. Oh, man. It's not going well. How? Okay. Atlas is going to be the exact same thing, just without the nine for the standstill. Yep. So nine instead of the eight, or was it ten instead of nine? Four, it might five, not six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was tens instead of the nine. Okay. Yep. That's um, that's uh, rough. Not like it. <sighs> okay. And then he again, the exact same thing, mm. but he is in short range, but then has the modifier for the jump, which is going to leave us with a nine. Yes. Wow. Oh, painful. Okay. So then once again, this is the exact same modifier as the yep. Atlas back up on that 10. Yep. Come on, little pouncer. You can do it. Oh, my dice. My dice are painful right but now. But they're also my dice. See, I'm just rolling all the good numbers. Yeah, you're going to... I'm going to hand it to we're you. Gonna, we're going to get solid fly. tens. That's right. Okay, so then Wraith and the Wasp back there. So it yep. is four. Your TMM is one, one for five. Yep. And so then the Wraith is going to be six because it jumped. And then five for that Wasp. So Wraith on the six. There it is. There we go. Finally. So he does three points of damage normally, but it's in the back. So it's going to be four. Ow. And then for the Wasp... And he oh. hit on that seven, yep. so an additional plus three. That's two plus one for rear? Yep. All right. I've got two armor left and five structure. You nice. like half killed him. Okay. Now let's see what it costs. Now me. let's see what it costs me. I set up this great move and the dice betrayed me. Yeah, a little bit. So he can't see those guys. They're Quite. out. We're going to lay into, I think my only option is really this or the Atlas. That or the Atlas. And so then uh, you got to decide, do you want to crunch on a smaller guy or already hit the Atlas because you already hit him hard last I turn? I think we're going to hit the Atlas. Okay. Get rid of the, the boss man. You can easily get into structure on this one. If, oh, yeah. I mean, we can see some critical hit action. Yeah, I got my giant guns. All yep. right. So we'll do that one. Uh, Nova T here is going to go for the, this Wraith. is the Wraith. Yep. Yep. Uh, Timberwolf into Warhammer, I think. Yep. And Nova uh, Fire Moth Fire into, Moth. yep. yep. And then Pouncer, I got some options. I think probably also Atlas. Atlas. Okay, yeah. trying to kill him. Yeah, let's get him out of here. Okay. Okay, so let's do let's do this one first. So we'll don't forget your over. overheat options if you right. want to start using that or not. Right. So, so what? How much? How much armor and structure are we talking about for? So the here? Wraith has actually he already took a hit. Yes. Yeah, so so five total. You may left. not even need to overheat to kill him. No. Uh, well, Nova, Nova, Nova T doesn't overheat. No, Nova T doesn't. If, if this hits, he's just gone. Oh, that's right. Because it's a six. I was thinking it was a prime, but nope. using the Nova T. Okay, so it is just, I don't know, that's just out of short range, I think. Excellent. Just, just. Woo! Like half an inch. We will. All right, so medium range. Okay. Um, but I've got three skill, and then uh, your movement modifier is whatever it is, plus one. Uh, movement modifier is three, so four. Okay, so seven, and then medium range is nine. If you roll a nine, I'm flipping. Oh, sorry. Did I remember my jump? If, it, if I didn't, it's ten. Ten. If you roll a ten, I'm flipping the table. Oh. <laughs> so let's actually count that again just to be on the safe side. Yeah, so yeah. there's three, four for your jump. Yep. Five, six for range. Seven, eight, nine. Where'd the ten... Um, right? I added that up correctly. Not sure. Uh, so we got two three, for me. Three yeah. for your skill. Yeah. Right. Okay. Four... Then, because you jumped, yep. five, six for range, eight, uh, seven, eight, and then nine. I think you did hit me. Okay. We probably double counted the jump. That's probably oh, what that's happened. probably what happened. Yep. Okay, and that just kills him. <laughs> Don't even mark it. He's just gone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and since we already moved, bye, bye. He is gone. Splash. Got him. some good punching in on the warhawk. It's, oh, that was painful. It was pricey. All right, he done. Okay. This shot like we were doing on the Atlas. Yep. That's definitely medium range. So we've got three skill. Um, nothing for uh, moving. Correct. So that's still three. One for the terrain. Yep. Um, the mech being in front doesn't nope. matter. Okay. I, you know, I mean, he's also super tall, but. Correct. Okay. Um, so yeah, four with terrain. What's your movement modifier? I think he's a one. Plus one. Okay. So then uh, three, so five. Five. 
And, and I think range? that's it. Oh, range, medium. Yep. Seven. Yep. Just Ooh. out. Okay, I will take that. Yep. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right, the pouncer on the same Desperately target. Desperately take that. Yep. Uh, that one. I think he is still medium. Uh, yep, that's yeah. medium. All right, so uh, three skill, medium range is five. Um, movement modifier and terrain again, so it's it's same shot, basically. Except the plus one Seven, for you. jump, so yeah, eight. eight. Nope. Lots okay, of big bad, whips. Say bad, uh, bad turn all around. Yep. Try and claw a bit of that back. And then we got these two. Yep. Onto the Warhammer. Onto the Warhammer action. So let's do a little, uh, little Fire Moth first. Okay. So he is three skill. Four for me. Uh, yep. Movement modifier four. Uh, stand still. Stand still. So. Oh, that's right. I don't even get my one. Yeah. So. That, that's why I'm behind you. Because you're so just standing there. three. Okay. Uh, I think <laughs> I'm going to pay a heat here. Yeah. You think? <laughs> So yeah, Boop. mark it on your heat. Perfect. Okay. So this is gonna be five damage if it lands. Yep. Uh, it sure does. Mm. That's that sure hits. Owie. Owie. And One, then two, let's... three, four, five. Clears off the armor. No which more is armor. Perfect. So you clear off the armor. Now hoping for the timber wolf to come in. Yep. And, and you'll just Do finish him off. Doesn't even need the overheat. Doesn't just... even need the overheat. You will just splash him down. And I believe you're. It's short even range. short range. Yeah. Man, you're gonna. I think you're gonna just gonna take this battle. He's just gonna get creamed. Okay, so yeah, Warhammer three short range is no no increase. Uh, you don't even get your movement modifier. It, it's three. It's three. Come on, roll a two. I think roll you're a two. also supposed to take plus one for rear here. So I actually am into the structure, by the way. But it's not. Oh, gonna you didn't do a plus one already? No, because he's. Oh, four you did the overheat. Eight. Yeah. Anyway, oh, no, no, it no. might it might not matter. No, that's true. Because I'll just we'll, we'll it, come it, back to it. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Splat. Total. Oh man, poor Warhammer. Okay, my uh, I, I my hate, death pile here guy, is a little too uh, getting a little bigger compared to your death pile. Yep. It's a lot of debris on the yep. field, so we'll go ahead and pull it off. Man, those dice. That was that hating was rough. me. That was rough. That's the uh, Leviathan's game that I played with my son at Gen Con. I I watched he, that from the audience. He had the game in hand. Yep. And those dice betrayed him at the end. Now. Of course, I'm not going to turn my wind down, but uh, yeah, he had it. And uh, back to initiative, him. right? Yep. Roll absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Wow. Okay. Just now kicking me when I'm down. One, two, three, four, five mechs to the five clanners that started yep, so the fight. So it's just straight up. Back and forth. Move for move. Take it away. So Atlas, uh, there's not a lot for me to do. So I will simply trundle forward the three inches that I'm allowed. Yep. Throw the ground on there. Stay and in the woods. They're all just going to swarm. Or, yeah, stay in the woods, but you're all going to swarm around him. Now, what's he got left? He's got like, oh, so much structure. Uh, it'll, yeah. It'll take a concentrated it'll, it'll, effort. It, you, yeah. yeah okay. At least two, if not three mechs going all out. Yep. Okay, let's do this little guy. Scared out of his mind, <laughs> being completely lit up by everybody, uh, and yet somehow not a mark on him. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> just jump behind. Okay. Yeah, let's jump back here. Um, he's he's either very brave or very dumb. I or both. am going to go stand still with my archer because <clears throat> you're just sitting right there. Oh yeah, I'll pay. And for I got it. a nice good shielding block over here. Yep. Cool. Let's do. Remind me roughly. This is a small guy. He uh, must a little, not, oh my gosh, he's. I'll sneeze uh, on him. Oh, Twelve yeah. jump, and you sneeze on him, and he's gone. Okay, he's got yeah three three total. So like putting Nova Nova T into him is like so overkill. Overkill, <laughs> overkill the biggest part. Yeah. Uh, now there is uh, physical attacks as well. We're not really getting into those because we're just right know, going through and showing the game. Basic but absolutely. Stuff. Uh, if you get to the end, like the Phoenix Hawk and the Timberwolf here, you absolutely can go ahead and try to kick and punch and mm -hmm. do the normal I'm fun that uh, you can in Battletech. Do you want to jump him in now? I guess I could do... Am I allowed to pre-measure or do I have to pick a no, unit? No, you, you can pre-measure. No, right. we're, we're, we, uh, we got high-tech sensors. We know yeah, how far exactly. things are. Okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not vindictive about uh, gameplay. Right, right on. Okay, so... I might just move him now, even though it's a little... Okay. A little awkward. Uh, Where is he going? Let's just straight into the woods. I think so, yep. Mm. Let's, let's get him right right in there. 
Right. Okay, so then it's I will... It's a friendly time. It's a friendly time, so I will... Uh, I know I've got plenty of movement. Yeah, right. I will He'll jump straight around. back to... Yep. Jump and jump. That guy deserves to die for how much <laughs> you put into him so far. I, I, I don't think that's going to kill him, but man, I sure hope so. Mm -hmm. He's okay. damaged. So he back to three. you. Yeah, back to me. You got your uh, Nova and your Warhawk over there. Mm -hmm. I think Warhawk... Uh, yeah, Warhawk's going to go. So... Okay. Uh, eight. Eight inches. Yeah, let's... You know, if they're going to swarm him, they're going to swarm him. So let's get him all the way right there. there. Okay. Yep. Coming down on the trees. There you are. Oh, um... Right. Uh, you won. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you're going. You're doing all your moves first. Yeah. I'll have the fire moth at the very end. Yeah, yeah. Little punchy guy. What are you doing here? You know what? I actually hit the warhawk pretty hard. Yep, uh, he's, he's got, got uh, seven left yeah. altogether. Jump, uh, where's my phoenix off? Jump at 12. That is plenty. I will go ahead and take the... Woo, here it comes. Take the action, Jump. see if I can't make something happen here. Yep. Okay. Over to you. So uh, then you got Nova, your Fire Moth left. Yeah, I'm thinking probably Fire Moth. Okay. Point. How fast is he? Uh, 12, I believe. 12 inch with the jump. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I can get some of these out of the way to... Yeah. Make it <laughs> Don't a little have to easier. sort through them now because they're just gone. Yeah. They're... Okay. Uh, let's make it easy with Fire Moth. He's just gonna yeah. start Run. the start the conga line. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I will, yeah, I will do the conga line as well. Everybody pile in, and then that leaves this guy here. Who, yeah, he only jumps, right? He doesn't he doesn't actually have a, a normal move, right? He's no, you a... always can decide if you're going to jump or not jump. Okay, so I can always use the ten. Correct. It's like it's like this one is ten slash ten J. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, let's get let's just run around the corner of this building to here. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, you know, how about there? Let's just stay out of line of sight of the big guy, just in case he decides he doesn't want to shoot this warhawk. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and start up a fire in this round? So, running. So, who are you starting in on? Did I mark everybody? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think so. These oh, three... I missed my ground here. There we go. Yeah. These three, Atlas. Okay. Into the back. Yep. Into the back. Okay. I think, actually, I want the bigger guy. Mm. Maybe. I'm not sure. I've... No, you are I think not I, able to see him. I have the choice you, you of... Could, yeah. I could have been, like, over Absolutely. here. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You would know. I was just thinking about whether you were going to be like, ooh, I could yep. get this guy, but I'm, I'm thinking you're going to kill the Warhawk. That's what I'm hoping for. Yep. Get some big damage in there. Like, if I can't drop a big mech here, I'm done. Yeah, you won't have the, the firepower the, left yeah, to the, seal the, the deal. The battle will be over at the end of this turn. Yep, all right. So, um, it, you said it doesn't matter which yep. order we, we do come. I'll do mine nope. first, then. Yep. All right, let's just work our way through. Start us in. So this Sounds guy good. into uh, medium guy here jumping. Okay, Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawk, there we go. So he's uh, short range. Yep. So skill three, no bonus for, or well, skill three. Nothing for ground. Nothing for ground. Uh, uh, plus uh, two, plus the one. Yep. So six. Seven. Uh, plus sorry. Plus three. Oh, four, right. Five. Yeah. Six. No, you're right. Six, not seven. It was me, th me throwing you off. There you go. So And that's six. Yeah. There's no range. Oh, sure. No nope. terrain. All right. Nope. Yes. That's what I need. Big old punch missed. Okay, so then into the Atlas here. Yep. So three. Uh, there is some woods. There is some woods. So you're still getting the plus one. Yep. So uh, three, your move is nothing. Plus one for your rating. Yep. So four and one for woods. And that's Five. it. That's it. Because you're in short range. I'm going to cook an overheat on this. Okay. Pass that marker. Yep. That, that'll do. How much? It is, uh, as written, five plus one for overheat value, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have an instance where he did not instantly die, and he actually went in. So now you're going to roll 2d6 and look at the determining crits hit table. All right, let's roll it. Okay. I get a five. And so then it simply says no critical No critical hit. hit. Okay. So again, kind of for the classic Battletech players, we've combined two rolls. Normally you're rolling, yeah, and if you get the tables. eight or better, yep. then you get one, two, or three crits, and there's just one simplified table. You cooked all the math down. Yep, exactly. Yep, awesome. Okay. So that's so that. On to, that's that one. Come on, Timberwolf. 
This is now the dead to rights shot, One, so overheat two, three, value. Four, five. Five points, oh, though. Don't you even don't, need to. You don't need to. I was gonna if this like. Oh no, I totally get it. Absolutely, but so, you don't need to. Okay. He's just he's just the cleanup crew. He just, yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, I feel confident you're going to miss. Come on. Yeah, let's see it. All right, so three for skill. Nothing for this. Yep. One for your move modifier. Okay. And there is some. There's trees. still the woods there. Yep. You're so all five. in the woods. Yep. Come on. And plus Big one damage for rear, but it's not yep. going to matter. Big money moment. Oh, no. He is just dead, dead, dead. Five's twice there, Randall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's uh, in that moment, it's going to be my son. He would have rolled just one die to yep. try to like stick it to you mm -hmm. and then roll mm -hmm. the other if he needed. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Okay. So he's going to be gone. Yep. Uh, we've got this guy who is also shooting at him, but I won't roll it now because he's dead. Yep. And then this guy into the back there. So fire him off. Uh, three skill. Nothing for moving. And then your move plus one. So four. What's your move modifier? Uh, I believe it is one. Oh, he's yep. kind of sluggish. He is kind of okay, sluggish. Five, and I think that's it. Okay. Uh, also a hit, and he hits four, four. Four? Is that with the plus one? Uh, no, four plus the rear bonus. Okay, so five. Right. No more armor for Blackjack. Yeah, almost got inside. All right. Okay. So, yeah, we're, we're done. That's all. Uh, but did the... Pouncer go? He was shooting. Oh, he the was Atlas. shooting at the thing, and he's already dead. He's, so he really, okay. he really helped. Perfect. Okay, so starting with the Atlas, then. Uh, actually, no, we'll just same thing. I'll kind of go in this direction. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with, with my little wasp. See if I can't do something here. It's a four. Um, nothing for him. Nothing for the range. Plus one for you. So five. Yep. Uh, That'll do. And, and plus one for is, rear, right? Yep. So three points of damage. Oh, just into the structure. Nice. Two armor, first a little structure. wasp. Okay, and that means I get a critical hit roll here. So looking for an eight uh, weapon hit. Okay, so now what you're going to end up doing is there so down in this right... Yeah, this yeah. little corner here. Exactly. You're going to find the weapon slot, and you're going to put the... Minus one damage each. Yep. So now I only do four damage instead of five. Correct. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so that was the wasp. Now on to the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, he can't overheat, so nothing I can do about that. Uh, but it's the exact same five. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ouch. And, and that is four points of damage. Including the rear? Yep. He's gone. Yes. Oh, just managed to clear Splat. him out. Uh, Put him and over then here. did you kill my... No, he missed, right? So you didn't kill yeah, the Yeah, yeah. Nova, Nova, right. Nova missed his kill shot there. Okay, so then coming over here to the Atlas. Atlas was going to be firing on here, so he's gone. Yeah. Uh, the rest of these were firing on the pouncer, though. So right. starting with the archer, starting with the four, uh, I stood still, so it's actually down to a three. Mm -hmm. You're a plus two, so five, six for the jump, nothing yep. for the range. So six as it is. Uh, he is, in fact, going to overheat by one. Do the same thing. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to? You do to? three damage, right? Yeah. I'm already damaged. Oh, the right. Straight okay. up will kill me. Okay, excellent. And, and you're and dead? There, and there it is. It's a payback for the everything shooting at him last round. Yeah. Okay. Blackjack there. Atlas comes off. Okay. Yep. Um, I still think it now. Yeah, because Blackjack was shooting we, at we him too, could, right? uh, Yeah. Uh, we could absolutely keep continue playing. Uh, I think in this situation, unless it's I have... It's time for a tactical withdrawal? Yeah, I think it's time for a tactical withdrawal. Uh, the mechs are expensive, right? <laughs> I don't want to just throw them away. Uh, well, one of the one of the things you'll find when playing Battletech, one of the most uh, enjoyable ways to play Battletech is to bring that real life in. Okay. Like, I'm this mercenary command particularly. Now, you can play the houses and clans. Mercenaries often are the best because, like, oh my gosh, I just spent so much money, I got to get this mech out because yep. I'm going to lose all that money. But it does help the better immersion, and then you can build campaigns. You're keeping sure. these pilots... Uh, we have a uh, we don't have them in the base game or in the base box, but in the full rules, there's just pages and pages of special pilot abilities. Well, don't, I think there's um, specific character cards in the start. There's set, there's character cards, correct? There's pilots you can get, and those yeah, pilots yeah. have special abilities. Absolutely. That's the other deck. Uh, that's the other deck uh, down there. This one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so, yeah. So we got. So you can assign a specific pilot you can choose. Yeah, but my... one of the great ways to do a, one a, a really easy way to do campaign play is you could literally do something like you know every mech that fights in a game gets a, a plus one, every mech that kills another mech gets a plus one, and then you turn right. that into you know 
that translates into every three battlefield points that a mech gets translates into one point for a special piloting ability. Right. So you can grow your pilots really easy and feel like they're getting better and better. You can lower their skills. Mm -hmm. Lots of great ways. But I definitely think in this situation, again, I love slogging it out and trying mm -hmm. to make it thing. But I think good uh, tactical withdrawal here. Yep. Uh, is probably the uh, well. The Timberwolf is sense. mint condition, and, and that's that's actually the thing that terrifies me the most. Okay? <laughs> he can just literally one shot almost all the yep. rest of my mechs. Well, they try and focus him down. <laughs> well, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that's Alpha Strike. Like I said, the that's the base box set. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of the special abilities here that we didn't really get into, just because yeah. they didn't quite come up. Right. Um, for example, uh, if it's an E and E, that's energy. Um, and that means it's all energy. So if he had gotten inside and rolled a crit and rolled for an ammo explosion, which does an you additional point any. of damage, I don't have ammo. It doesn't apply to me. So right. there's lots of good little nips and tucks in the rules. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, there's lots of different ways. Every time you set the train up differently, it's going to be a different experience, yeah. different scenarios. Uh, and then the last part that's in the rules is you have what's called formation rules. And this is once you've gotten two or three battles under it, you're really starting to understand it. You can then, each mech has a role, okay? So for example, the Phoenix -E. Hawk here, uh, yes, R-O-L-E, thank you. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk, for example, is a striker. Yep. Uh, Blackjack is a brawler. Well, it's also just helpful to kind of understand what they're meant for, right? Exactly. Okay, yeah, so skirmisher, missile boat. Yeah, so you kind of know how to Scout. use it. But then what that does is as you're building your force, building an army, just like you would in a lot of other tabletop miniature games, mm -hmm. you build your army and depending upon the type of roles in a given formation and given a lance of like four max or a star five, yep. that then unlocks a formation ability that's this extra cool thing. And so if you want this extra cool ability, you get to decide, ooh, I'm, I wasn't thinking of what, taking an what Atlas. combo, but... Exactly, yeah. but now I am, because if I get the Atlas into this, now suddenly... Now it's a melee brawling ability. formation. Exactly. Bonus, yeah, okay, yep. cool. And then also noticing that of the two variants on like the front and back, they're often different roles. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they, they can be radically different based upon the weapons loadout. Mm-hmm. So there's uh, there's Alpha Strike. That's Alpha Strike. Uh, the base box set is just now hitting stores. Yeah, uh, I saw you moved quite a lot of them. At, we at, moved at, a uh, lot Max of them. Uh, I I tried really hard to cram as much possible value in there as I could. And oh yeah. It is it is filled with value. So check it out. This was a ton of fun. Thanks so much for playing. You bet. Thank you. That was a great first experience to uh, Alpha Strike. Awesome. Uh, six sides of gaming. Yeah. Like and subscribe. BattleTech. Later. <laughs>